Hello everybody, it's me, welcome back to the video. Now, in this video, I am going to be talking about the new leaked Awakened forms that are going to be coming later this weekend, I would hope, or this weekend, and they are actually going to be Awakened Malotric and Stalagant. Now, what's interesting about these Awakened forms specifically is, I, I, I'm not kidding, I, you know, whenever they first leaked Awaken Skadeen, they said uh, an Awaken coming. I, they said, Dear God. That's what the, the little hint was. What I said was, I figured it out. Dear God. As in, dear. But it was spelt D E A R. So I was like, if you rearrange the letters, you can get Dear God. And that means it's Thalagant. And then earlier today in my stream, I said I think Malotric would be cool with an Awakening. An hour after I end, they show Thalagant and Malotric. I'm just saying, I got some kind of, I'm in the hive mind of the doodle world, uh, devs. I'm just saying. It is, it's, it's kind of crazy. But yeah, overall, I'm pretty excited to talk about these and what they could possibly be in the future. But, hopefully you guys are excited, and let's hop in, straight into it. I'll also be having some battles being played with actually a fairly unique team that I've only, like, that I haven't. It's a very, it's an interesting one, because it's a team that... I don't think is necessarily exactly my style, but it still is a team. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and hop straight. Let's hop straight into it. And hopping straight into it, there are actually some designs that were shown for some of the Awakened forums. You can actually find them in the Doodle World Discord server, which if I remember to, I'll leave a link in the description below. If not, just you can search up, you can find it in the description of, of Doodle World and they'll have their Discord server there. And yeah, um, I don't know the first one I want to talk about, but I think the one I am more excited for is Malotric. I've always, I've honestly always liked Malotric. It's actually one of the few things I thought of doing a big chain stream for. But then I saw its tasks and I got kind of demotivated. But maybe eventually I'll end up doing that. I was planning on doing Elementia soon. But Malotric is a very interesting case because it could either be absolutely insane if it gets the right ability that I, th I think it could possibly get. Or it could just be straight up like, yeah, it's Malotric. I have the worst defensive typing in literally the entire game and I'm meant to be bulky and defensive. But yeah, Malotric has always been suffering for quite a long time, which is honestly really nice that it's getting an awakening because it could finally have its time in the spotlight. It was really cool once it got Fatal Flaw, and I think Fatal Flaw is such a cool move, and it really, really helped Malotric. I think with this awakening, it's going to finally get the boost that it needs, and it could finally be absolutely broken. Maybe. But yeah, anyway, I wanted to show you guys some stats that I could poss that could possibly be what Malotric could be based around. And starting off with this first one, I'll show it on screen now, you'll see that it kind of does the exact same thing that normal Milotric does, but is a bit stronger. And you might be asking, why would I not just use normal Milotric? The difference is, once it awakens, it would get an ability that would set Reverse Singularity up for four turns until you switch out. Which, on paper, is kind of busted uh, I think setting that up with almost no consequences you get stronger and set it up and then you outspeed everything could be absolutely insane for late game strats I think finally mascomedy could finally be put to rest because I don't like awaken mascomedy I think it's stupid but I think with that ability it might be a little bit too busted and could take my low trick in an interesting direction but if they if they keep up with the con consistency of just making the awakened forms better than the base form and not really changing all too much about it besides volt enchant um then this could all this could be a possibility that it could be um i do see um maybe it getting the reverse singularity setting ability but it could also get something to do with items where um you uh, every move you use would get rid of an item which honestly would be absolutely insane and probably make it even better than the reverse singularity thing because then you just get a disarm on every offensive move that you click and suddenly the enemies just can't have any moves plus thinking about how a consumed treasure would work with mellow trick would be very very interesting because it'd be kind of funny imagine just awakening and then eating your rude stone i don't know that just sounds kind of funny to me and I think it'd be very cool, but there's also a different direction you could take, which I think is a more unique direction for Awakened Malotric. And what I mean by that, I can go ahead and show you. Um, 
right now I'll show you guys on screen a very crazy direction you can take Awaken Mellow Trick right now. You will see. I know. It's crazy. It lost all forms of bulk and now is ridiculously fast and hits a bit harder. And I don't exactly know what the ability would be. Maybe something combined with uh, Bulwark and Sturdy. That could be kind of interesting. Um, because then it can't get prioritized and it would never be able to be taken out in one hit. Um, I don't really, I think that'd be a little bit too good and probably could maybe only, maybe only have where it can't be taken out in one hit or it has Bulwark. That'd be very interesting to see. But because of the lack of, it, it has, doesn't have a very good offensive typing. And thanks to that, it's able to, um, probably be a little bit better than most Awakenings. Huh. But that 140 speed is scary i think it'd be a very weird direction and an interesting direction to take my low trick is completely flipping what it's meant to be super duper slow but when it awakens to its primordial form it would just go crazy and be super duper fast but also like the other version where it's relatively bulky and i think i'm more so hyped for awakened mellow trick i understand that i used to use stalagant and loved it but now i think i'm more so leaning toward mellow trick because it just seems more, more it has more potential you know whereas stalagant it kind of feels like it would just awaken and be stronger than it normally is and as we know stalagant is not all too good in it in it of itself so i don't really know how they're going to take awaken stalagant be cool if the awaken forms kind of shifted and did a different role than what their base form does because it's kind of with archipos where it's base form um i don't know like tough lays uh, they're not really best examples i guess the awaken forms do have different roles in their base forms maybe besides mascomedy and thea terror those guys i guess what i'm trying to focus it off and maybe even cack meow you know like cack meow being pretty disappointing awakening plus with grufflin as well it does pretty much the same thing where it just wants to pivot and outspeed everything i don't know but i think like there definitely could be something different that they could take with this awakening form but i'm honestly very excited for it let me know how you guys feel about awakening my low trick but i also i also wanted to talk about awakened stalagant now whew, this one's pretty cool because I, I feel like it has a lot of potential um it has a lot of potential to be very very strong as we know true power is an incredibly good ability it is essentially hidden strength but at one hp and with a 100 and what is it 10 attack stat it's absolutely insane and I made some stats, I'll show them on screen now. You can see that it kind of does the exact normal thing that Stalagant does, but a bit better. Um, and keeping that interesting stat distribution of 6, 1, and, and 3. Um, and it, uh, depending on the your gender, you would go into uh, attack, uh, you could have magic attack would be higher than your attack, or your attack would be higher than your magical attack, depending on the uh, gender that uh, Stalagant is, because that's actually something interesting. M male Stalagant has a higher attack stat than female but female has a higher magical attack stat which is kind of a cool thing to do because it could really affect um things in the future you know it's very cool because it makes salient versatile to where like you know mostly how genders don't usually matter competitively um you're able to um use that as a cool concept for Stalagant. that's honestly sounds really wrong saying it aloud so just hoping I'm not being rude. I'm just trying to explain how exactly Stalagant works um, in terms of its two forms. But yeah, I think it'd be very interesting. And the stats themselves are pretty pretty generic for an Awakening form, doing what its base form does, but better. Um, as well as the ability, I don't know what the ability exactly would be. I've always liked uh, Chlorokinesis on... Um, Stalagant, I've always thought it's a very cool ability. Hit by a plant type move, your mind type moves are stronger because you don't know chlorokinesis is the tele telekinetic ability of manipulating uh, plant life, which is what Isabella had in in Kanto, which is kind of interesting. And I don't really know what direction they're going to take Awakened Stalagant. I more so thought of Malotric because it seemed easier to do, but I don't really know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but I... I'm excited for both of them. I'm hoping also a balance patch could possibly come with them. And maybe we could see some more feedback on some balance patches. Because as you know, I was, I'm not the biggest fan of the leaked balance patches. So I'm hoping that they, we can have some more feedback. So we could maybe see some possible changes. But I don't really know. But regardless, 
I'm hoping that they're pretty good. And hopefully you guys are excited to see these Awakened forms just like I am. They're going to be super duper cool. I'll definitely be doing them both, but probably not both in the same day because I don't usually do that. But yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed and I'll see everyone in the next video. Goodbye.